What is a herniated disc? A herniated disc is a condition that affects the back. It can cause pain, numbness, or tingling down one or both legs. A spinal disc has a soft, jelly-like center, nucleus, encased in a tougher, rubbery exterior, annulus. Sometimes called a slipped disc or a ruptured disc, a herniated disc occurs when some of the nucleus pushes out through a tear in the annulus. Many people have no symptoms from a herniated disc. Surgery is usually not necessary to relieve the problem. To understand what a herniated disc is and how it causes symptoms, it's helpful to first learn a little about the back and spine. The back is made up of vertebrae, a stack of bones that sit on top of one another like a stack of coins. Each of these bones has a hole in the center. When stacked, the bones form a hollow tube that protects the spinal cord. Spinal cord and nerves. The spinal cord is the highway of nerves that connects the brain to the rest of the body. It runs through the vertebrae. Nerves branch from the spinal cord and pass in between the vertebrae. From there, they connect to the arms, the legs, and the organs. This is why problems in the back can cause leg pain or bladder problems. Discs. Rubbery discs sit in between each of the vertebrae to add cushion and allow movement. Muscles, tendons, and ligaments. Together, the muscles, tendons, and ligaments are called the soft tissues of the back. These soft tissues support the back and help hold it together. The discs that sit between the vertebrae have a tough outer shell and jelly-like center. The outer shell of the discs can sometimes break open, spilling the jelly material inside. This is what doctors call a herniated disc. Herniated discs can cause symptoms because the jelly material that spills out of them can irritate nearby nerves. Plus, the disc itself can bulge and press on nerves. What are the symptoms of a herniated disc in the lower back? Herniated discs do not always cause symptoms. Symptoms vary greatly depending on the position of the herniated disc and the stages of the herniation. Discs actually have four stages. 1. Disc protrusion 2. Prolapsed disc 3. Disc extrusion 4. Sequestered disc 2. Stages 1 and 2 are referred to as incomplete, where 3 and 4 are complete herniations. In cases of stage 1 and 2, the herniated disc is not pressing on a nerve. The patient may experience a low backache or no pain at all. But in case 3 and 4, if it is pressing on a nerve, there may be pain, numbness, or weakness in the area of the body to which the nerve travels. Typically, a herniated disc is preceded by an episode of low back pain or a long history of intermittent episodes of low back pain. These symptoms affect different parts of the leg depending on which disc in the lower back is herniated. Symptoms of a slipped disc include pain and numbness, most commonly on one side of the body. Pain that extends to your arms or legs. Pain that worsens at night or with certain movements. Pain that worsens after standing or sitting. Pain when walking short distances. Unexplained muscle weakness.